Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to our late night live sale this Saturday, April 29, 2023. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys all had a great day. Um, also, if you're watching this live after the live is already over and this is the replay, you can check down below in the description box. Items availability and their pricing will be there. And if you guys are new to the channel and to the lifestyles, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome to the Thrift Squad. Um, all the info for the live sale for purchasing or anything like that is going to be right there. And it's also down below in the description box if this is too hard to read for wherever you're watching. Uh, but I hope you guys had a great day. Let's see who's in here. Um, there's Mrs. C. Hello, Mrs. C. How are you? Hepatia, Marisol, sister of a down West Coast gal. Sorry if also I sound crazy. I actually think I did lose my voice yesterday and I've been on vocal rest the whole day. <laughs> so this is like the extent of my voice uh, tonight. But uh, hopefully it comes back. I don't know. But Tara, hello. Jean, hello. Happy Saturday. Do you guys all have a good day? Do you guys do anything fun? Any thrifting? Um, Sandra, did you find anything different today? Hipatia? Hi, guys. Oh, also, I need a giveaway question. I have a really great giveaway tonight, which I think is really cute. Um, this is a Amy Kestenberg little pouch. So this is today's giveaway, an Amy Kestenberg pouch. Uh, it's in this green snake embossed printed leather and has silver hardware. It's super cute. It's just a little pouch. It's in like new condition. And this is our giveaway tonight. Also, say hi to Snorlax and Pikachu. They fell over over here. Ooh, also, I got this new product today. Um, it's called the Medicube Collagen Night Wrapping Cream. And I'm going to be using this tonight. So, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I saw it on TikTok. And I ordered it. And it just came in the mail. So, I'm really excited to try it out. It's supposed to kind of be like an overnight face mask that you put on before you go to sleep. And then... In the morning, you, like, peel it off, and it's supposed to, like, infuse your skin with collagen and goodness and stuff. So, I will try it out, and I'll let you guys know how it is. I think this is, like, a... Oh, this is a Korean product. So, I'm very excited to try it out. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this. It's called Medicube Collagen Night Wrapping Cream. So, this is tonight's product of the night. Hi, Katie. Hippati, I found for good. <gasps> no way. Ray, redone shorts for 17 and Gucci jeans for 40 That's amazing. Oh, Sandra. Did, the, did your nephew win? Did, they, did, they, did his team win? Hi, Dawn. Hi, Linda. Linda, I'm still so excited for the new baby. How's Ethan doing? Hi, Marisol, Mel C. There's Angela, Rusty. Hello. Hi, everyone. Silver snowdrops. I feel like my voice is like fading away still. Um, okay. Did we have a question already for today that I said from yesterday that we were going to use? I don't remember. Vadrin, do you remember if we had a question already? But isn't this super cute? Let me get the link for the giveaway. It's going to be yesterday's live sale video. Um, since we didn't have a video this morning. And... Okay, well... Wait, I think I saw someone leave a question. Ooh, Mrs. C! I like that. How do you like your eggs? Perfect. Okay, let's use that. How do you like your eggs? Leave your answer in the comments of this video that I linked right here. It was yesterday's live sale video. Leave your answer in the comments of that video and uh, you'll be entered to win this Amy Kestenberg zipper pouch. It's really cute. I love this green snake print. I think it's really fun. Oh, Linda, that's... Oh, did... um? How does Kennedy like the new baby? Is she super excited to have a baby brother? That's always so exciting. I remember when um, Cade became a big brother. And at first, I think he was like pretty apprehensive about it because he was used to being the only child. But after Zach was born, he was like, okay, it's cool. I remember when my sister was born, I was like super duper excited. 
Okay, so leave your answer. There's that link again. And let's get started. I think I got some pretty great stuff today. I feel like I say that every time. But um, I think the, the finds today were pretty good. I have a good assortment of stuff. I have some shoes. I have some clothing. I have some sunglasses. Of course, the handbags. Gotta have the handbags. Oh, here are the sunglasses. Right here too. Okay. Yeah, I, I have. Ah! Oh my gosh, I almost knocked over my soda. I don't want to do that. Let me put that away. Actually. Okay, here are the other glasses. Oh my gosh, I have so many cute ones. I'm really excited about this. I think we're gonna start off with some sunglasses tonight because I think I got some pretty fun ones. Um, so let's start off with, I think we'll start off with, oh, should I? I don't know. I have no clue, whatever you think. Mm, should I do those first then? Okay, I'll just do them first. Okay, let's do these first. These are super cool. Um, these are a collab with Oliver Peoples and The Row. And The Row is that the brand that's uh, owned and designed by the Olsen twins, Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. And Oliver People, an amazing sunglass brand. And these are super cute. They're a black plastic. And then they have a like a brown lens. And then they're just silver, um, or not silver, but black with silver hardware in the inside. You don't see any hardware on the exterior, but they have like these thick sides, which I like because that like blocks out the sun. Um, and the style is called Bother Me. And these are, again, all of our people, the row. I don't know if that's going to show up right there on the side. But these sunglasses are pretty fierce. I feel like for me, they're just a tad small because my sun my eyebrows I feel like I don't know I'm pretty particular about sunglasses covering my eyebrows but this is how they look they're pretty good though like they're a good width I think they're a good size and they have like a slight kind of cat eye but this is gonna be item number one these are our Oliver people's The Row sunglasses with silver hardware. And these are how much, Fadrian? Okay, we're going to do these for 150 And these are in really great condition. These are item number one. All of our people, The Row sunglasses, brown lenses. Okay, so that's item number one. Next up, number two, okay, number two, making sure my notes are correct. All right, next up, I have, oh, these are the sunglass cases. Oh, no, these are something else. So I have like all my bags packed up in here. I have bags inside of bags. Okay, this is our next item. This is a really cute Rebecca Minkoff. And I love this bag. I think it's so cute. It's a gray pebbled leather Rebecca Minkoff flat bag. It has uh, silver hardware. I love the chain detail around the top flap. The strap is also convertible, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag, or you can extend it and have it as a cross body. There's a nice big back pocket right here. It's magnetic. Top flap is also magnetic, so this is just a decorative little piece right there. Um, the inside has a middle dividing zipper pocket. The front is just an open compartment, and then the back compartment 
has a zipper pocket. But it's nice and clean inside and out. The bag is in great shape. The leather is really nice too. I really like the texture of the leather. It almost reminds me of like the texture of like a goat skin leather. Uh, which is like what in French? It's like chev leather or something. But I don't think it's goat. I think it's just like a regular calf skin. But really, really cute. Love, love the color. And this is going to be item... Yeah, it does have Stella McCartney vibes. You're right, Linda. This is our gray Rebecca Minkoff flat bag with silver chain details and hardware. And this is in really great condition. It's in, like, new condition. All the corners look really good. No rubbing or discoloration or anything. And the inside is super clean as well. And this is how much fashion for this one. Where did I put my phone? Okay, this one's gonna be $125. And that's item number two. Oh, it's called the ED chain. What's what's the ED chain trend? What's the what's the retail on it? There we go. Isn't it cute? It's a really, really nice. It's a good size, too. Retail on this is $328. Okay, next up. I have too much stuff behind me. Where did I put my phone? Oh, I didn't even see. Let me see. Oh, Linda, that's so sweet. <laughs> that's really, really cute. I'm glad that she's like such a good big sister already. That's adorable. Hi, Christine, how are you? All right, next up <clears throat> is item number three. Oh, there's my phone. Jeez Louise. Oh, why am I taking a screenshot? Don't you hate that? Like when you pick up your phone and it accidentally takes a screenshot? It's so weird. Okay, next up. We have item number three, and I have, this is a Coach cell phone wallet, and let me see if my phone fits. I don't think it's going to fit with a case on, so I'm going to take the case off. Okay, my phone does fit, so it fits the largest iPhone right inside of there, little snap has a wristlet and there's a little coach uh, hang tag on there as well. There's a back zipper change pocket. This zips around and then inside has a clear ID, lots of card slots, and then one, two, three, four slip pockets inside of there. And it's just a smooth black leather on the inside. And then the exterior is in a grained calf skin leather. And this has, um, like a, it's like an antique kind of silver hardware. Yeah. And this is going to be item number three. And this is our black coach phone wallet wristlet with silver hardware. And this one is how much for for this guy? Um, let's do this one for, let's just do $25 for this one. 25 That's item number three. <laughs> I know, I, I am losing my voice, right? I knew it. Vajan was like, you sound the same. I was like, Vajan, I lost my voice. Hold on, now I can't get my phone out, it's stuck. I know. I was like, Vadrian, do I sound like I have a sultry voice? And Vadrian was like, no, you sound exactly the same. And I was like, how dare you? I sound like Phoebe Buffay from the episode of Friends, where she sings Smelly Cat, and it's like super sexy, and then like everyone's obsessed with her. And then like, she's like performing at the Central Perk, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're so good. And then suddenly like, she gets better. 
But then everyone was like, oh, your voice is back. All right. Oh, Cindy's calling number three. Congratulations, Cindy. That one is going to you. <clears throat> Congrats. I think, like, I'm just, like, trying to speak too loudly. I think if I just, like, speak normally, it's fine. But congrats, Cindy. This one is going to you. Up next, we got number four. Also, was it, like, hot where you guys were today? Because it was, like, pretty warm today in Southern California where I am. I went to L.A. today, and then it was, like, in the mid to high 80s. It was actually supposed to be in the 90s today, but the weather decided to calm down before that happened, so. Oh, here's the other sunglasses. Okay. Oh, I did get a lot of sunglasses today. This is crazy. The sexy phlegm. <laughs> Do you remember? And then when she gets better, she tries, um, was it Chandler? It was either Chandler or was it Monica? Someone else gets sick, and then she tries to, like, get sick again. That was funny. Okay, this is our next item. Hold on, let me cut the tag off, so that way you can actually see the sunglasses on. Now, this is a really cool pair of Celine sunglasses, and they're in a clear, like, baby blue. So I don't know if... The, I think they kind of come across on camera. I think they just look more clear, but they do have, like, a... They're at, they are, like, a baby blue, but they're super clear. And they also have a baby blue... Baby blue, like, gray lens to them. Like, a blue-gray lens. This is how they look on. Um, Vadrian is texting me. Vadrian hung up and wants me to call them back. Okay. So, these are the sunglasses. And... They're in really great shape. Um, they just have, like, some scratch marks in this top right inner part of, like, the of like the lens. They're really hard to see, and you don't really see them when they're on at all, but they're there. Otherwise, though, the sunglasses are in really great shape. They're really cute. Baby blue. And these are our clear baby blue Celine sunglasses with gray blue lenses. And these are going to be Okay, we're going to do these for $125. It's going to be item number 4, and these are Celine sunglasses. And these are old Celine. So they have the little accent over the E. I don't know, you can't really see, but um, they're right there on the side in gold. Uh, they're not showing. But they're really cute. That's number four. Up next, we have number five. All right. These next item is to this guy. Oh, look at the receipts inside the bag. <laughs> uh, this is a Madewell tote. This is the fold over tote. So it's uh, when you hold it with the top handle, obviously it's up, and then when you wear a crossbody, it folds over. And then it's in this really pretty, like, almost like a burgundy brown leather. Um, the crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. And the interior is unlined. And it still has the tags attached to the interior uh, pocket. Yeah, there's just one interior pocket inside of there. And the bag also does have, like, I don't know if you can see. There's these D-rings on either side. So you can attach the crossbody strap to the inside rings. And then that way the bag just stays up like this when you're carrying a crossbody. And this is called the 
fold over transport tote from Madewell. And I think, oh, here's, here's some photos about how like it looks like when it's worn. It's still online um, on the website. I think it retails for 200, yeah, like 188. Baby, you know you can just tell me. You don't have to like text it. Hey V, how's it going? All right, so that's that, like as a crossbody, um, with it like a big tote, and then when you wear it as a, baby, the next time you can just like send me like the photos, like cut out already, so it'll be faster. Okay, so that's that. And how much are these? Or is the bag? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do this one for 75. This one is in like new condition number five. Via, I miss you too. You guys, you guys gotta give Via a follow. She's also a fellow reseller. She's done live sales with me here before. She's amazing, we love her. Let me leave her Instagram for you guys. You guys can give her a follow and then check out all of her um, other socials. She's on Poshmark. She's on Depop. She's on Mercari. She does live thrift with me's on Whatnot and they're so much fun. You guys have to follow her and get a great deal on doing her thrift with me's. Um, so that was item number five. Let me show you item number four. I'm losing my voice, V. <sighs> Did I what, Adrian? Well, what was number five or number four? Mmm, here you go. These are the Celines. They're a clear baby blue. And they have like a blue gray lens as well. This is a, they're like a smaller size. The, oh my gosh, it's like blown out. Because of the lighting. Um, they're 47, 27, 145 are the numbers for these. And then to give V a follow. Oh my gosh! V, I literally said the same thing about Smelly Cat. Instagram.com. Oh my gosh, I can't see what these glasses are. Tell your friends. Sports wear. Did I spell that right? I put too many W's. Alright, there's V's Instagram so you guys can give her a follow. Uh, it does, Vivian. It's going to be kind of hard to see because the light keeps bowling it out. But it's right where the metal is and it's in front of it in gold. So like the interior metal is silver but the writing is in gold. But it does say Celine on the sides. So it just keeps blowing it out. And it's old Celine, so it has the accent over the E. Oh, there are also some small scratches. I don't know if you heard me when they said it earlier, but there's uh, some little scratches on the interior of the plastic at the top right here on the inside. You don't see them like when you're wearing them, but if you're looking at them, just like normally, you can kind of see them. They're on the back of the glasses, like on the top of the frames of the inside. Oh my gosh, you look like Mugatu. <laughs> okay, so that was... Um, hi, Jezebel, how are you? So those were the sunglasses, number four. And then that was a Madewell Transport Foldover Tote in Brown for 75 and that was item number five. And there's a lot more of you guys in here than there were earlier, so if you guys would like to enter the giveaway to win the... Um, super cute Amy Kessenberg pouch. I'm going to link that right here for you guys in the live chat. All right, there you go. <clears throat> She's doing well, V. She, they, my parents just came back from vacation. They went all over the Middle East. 
So, she brought back a lot of saffron. Number six is next. And for number six, I have... Let's do a really cool one. I believe this is called um, the Coach Dreamer. And it's in, it's an ivory leather with gold hardware. Little charms right here, the little C charm, little hang tag right there. You can wear it as a top handle, cross body. There's a pocket here on the front and in the pocket in the back. It's pretty much like a mirror image of each other. And then in the middle, it zips. And you have one zipper pocket and an open pocket on the inside. It's nice and clean. And there are little feet on the bottom as well. There is a little discoloration on the bottom corners, but I'll clean them up and make sure they're really good. I just, I know they're, it's just like dirt, so. Uh, I think the only really noticeable signs of wear. On one side of the hardware, there are a couple little marks on the side. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. But there are a couple little marks on the corners of the hardware, but they're really hard to see. And this is going to be item number six. This is our Ivory Coach Dreamer with gold hardware. And this is going to be... Okay, this is going to be $155. That's item number six. $155. All right, next up, number seven. Okay, and number seven is going to be... Should I do another pair of sunglasses? Uh, sure. I have a pair of Zedek and Voltaire sunglasses. These come with a case. And hold on, let me take these toggles and see how it looks. These are aviators. So they have like a tortoiseshell um, frame with a silver metal. And then uh, the lenses are like a blue gray. Is that how they look on? Oh, uh, thank you, Christine. Yeah, I'm fine. I just kind of lost my voice a little bit. Okay, so these are our Zadig and Voltaire Aviator sunglasses with blue-gray lenses and silver hardware. And these we're going to do for, let's do these for $75. That's going to be item number seven. And these glasses are in pretty good shape. They have like, I don't even think they have really any wear on them. Those are just fingerprints. Yeah, they're in really great shape. If anything, they have like very, very light marks, but they're in really good condition. And they do come with the original case as well as the little cleaning thing. So, yeah. So dig in Voltaire, that's item number seven. And then next up, Hi Sarah, how are you? Okay, let's do a baggy bag. Actually, let's do some shoes. Okay, these are a size seven and a half. So these are some Givenchy shoes. They're so cute. 
They're like black leather. Then they have the elastic band that says Givenchy Paris on the back. Um, they don't have too much wear on the bottoms, and the insoles are really, really good. These are a 37 and a half. So cute. And this is our black Givenchy shoe size 37.5. And these, um, I don't think I have any nine and a half, size nine and a half right now that I pulled out. I don't even think I have any in general at the moment. I'm sorry. Okay, let's do these for $130. That's going to be item number eight. They're uh, 37 and a half. And I believe they fit a size seven and a half. They should fit kind of true to size. So that's 130 for number eight for the black Givenchy shoes. They're like slide mules, right? I think that's what um, the style is called, slide mules. Oh my gosh, Tara, that sounds delicious. I really want some pizza. I think we still have some in the freezer that my mom made. Okay, so those are the shoes. They're super cute. And then next up, we have number nine. A security guard was talking to you, Adrian? That's crazy. <laughs> They're asking if, that was, if you were driving that car. Okay, next up, I have... Oh, let's do this. Okay. This is a really cool Michael Kors satchel. I think it's cute. I, it looks kind of like a cross between, like, a Birkin and then maybe, like, an Antigone. And I don't even know. But it's gray, smooth leather. has silver hardware. It has, like, this cool like lock chain detail here on the front um i don't know if it actually comes off does it oh yeah this comes out and then there's actually a pocket inside of here so the little lock does come off but it just like pops off like there's no key or anything that's actually super cute Hold on, how do I put this back on? But yeah, so there's that. We have the crossbody strap right here that is removable and adjustable. The bag has a middle dividing zipper pocket. There's a back pocket right there. And then in the front is just like an open compartment. It's nice and clean on the inside. It has a microfiber lining. And, oh, there are actually two other pockets underneath right there as well. So there's a big pocket and then two open pockets under there. And, yeah, nice and clean on the inside. Exterior has a few light marks that are just, like, right there. I don't know if they're going to really show up. They're really light, nothing crazy. And it has, like, a knotted little leather detail on the sides. Oh, Robin, I'm definitely going to have some tea later with lots of honey. I think the reason I left my voice, though, is probably because of my allergies. And then I, I was probably sleeping not the best. And I was probably sleeping with my mouth open or something because I can't breathe through my nose. So it probably just, like, killed my my vocal cords or something. It would be Adrian called me a mouth breather. Mouth breather. I can't even talk anymore. Mouth breather. Okay, this is a gray, smooth leather Michael Kors satchel with silver hardware. Me doing something fun of me. Okay, um, this is gonna be how much, Adrian?
Okay, let's do this one for $85. That's gonna be number nine. And this is a Michael Kors, it's not a Michael by Michael Kors, I think. Yeah, this is a Michael Kors um, piece. So it's not a Michael by Michael, it's just Michael Kors. It's $85 for number nine. Oh yeah, the the pollen is crazy right now, and we live in a flower field. Honestly, <clears throat> we have a super bloom happening in our town, so there's this pollen floating through the air all day and all night, and it just like never stops. All right, next item is gonna be I have this uh, round Rebecca Minkoff satchel and it's super cute it has little top handles and then the crossbody strap is adjustable and removable as well there's a little front pocket right here. You can stick your cell phone inside. But it kind of just like stands up like that. And cell phone does fit into the bag itself. So if you wanted to do that, that fits. Uh, handles go down for when you're wearing it crossbody. And the interior just has... There's just three interior card slots. You know, it's kind of hard to see inside of there. But there's three interior card slots on the inside. And it's just a fabric lining. But it's a cool shape. I don't really see a lot of the round Rebecca Minkoff bags. Oh, Linda, it's okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be number 10. They're black, round, Rebecca Minkoff crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this one's going to be how much for this guy, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do 65 for this one. It's going to be item number 10. Alright, that's number 10. Next up is 11. Here we go. Okay. Next up. Oh, this one is super cute. This is just a cute little Dooney and Burke. It's just a little pouch. And it's in this coated canvas. And it's in like this, uh, what's it called? Like a... Uh, Gingham, I guess. Not a gingham. Plaid. Plaid pattern. Really cute. It has a leather trim around it. And then the inside is in like a canvas. And this guy has like the little tags and stuff on the inside. So there's like the little tag right there with the seal number and then the other little tag on the other side. But this is going to be item number. 11. This is our duty. And Burke uh, plaid pouch. And brass hardware. And we're going to do this one for just $15. It's going to be item number 11 for $15. Okay, next up is going to be item number 12. Oh, agreed, Linda. Tara, your daughter is, like, amazing, too, for giving them already. Right, Papatia? It's really cute. It's a cute little pouch bag. 
Okay, next up is number 12. Girl problem, how do you feel about someone sleeping at a hotel at night during a camping trip? I would want to sleep at a hotel during a camping trip. I don't want to sleep at the campgrounds. <laughs> I have a fear of being eaten alive by insects, so... Okay, next. Oh, Marjorie's calling number 11. Congratulations, Marjorie. All right. Put that over there. Next item, this is the Rebecca Minkoff. This is the Love Crossbody Bag. Uh, this is the black leather. It's quilted, has silver hardware. Crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. Well, not completely adjustable, but you can um, connect the straps to the sides right there and then turn it into a shoulder bag. And then there's a back pocket right here. Turn lock opens up. And then inside just has a zipper pocket and then an open pocket on the interior. And it's nice and clean on the inside. It's a really nice bag, kind of looks like a Chanel boy bag. And that is item number 12. Hippatia. I I would do I would just do it. <laughs> but that's just me. This is a black like is everyone else gonna be camping like inside like tents and stuff? Or like is it like a cat like a cabin situation? Because I've gone camping, and, like, we stayed in a cabin, and that was, like, in sixth grade. But then the cabins were, like, pretty nice. So they kind of felt like hotel rooms. But I would do the hotel. Yeah, if, if people are going to be judging you for going to the hotel when you're going camping, then you don't want to go camping with them anyway. Right? So black Rebecca Minkoff Love flat bag with silver hardware. And this is in the medium size. And this is gonna be how much fader for this one? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $65 for the Rebecca Minkoff. That's item number 12. And then lucky number 13 is Oh, West Coast Scouts, a good one, right? It's so cute. Okay. This one, I was going to maybe hoard it, but I think I will let it go but this is um <clears throat> this is a really cool vintage loewe bag and it's in a brown snake skin leather it's on the front and the back and then the body of the bag is in a like a regular smooth leather uh we have the strap right here and the strap is like kind of weird like it connects right here on the side or like, on the top like that it almost it makes almost like an infinity sign and then if you want to shorten it you bring the pieces over and it attaches to the hardware and then it kind of becomes like a shoulder bag kind of style but Pretty cool. There's this little opening, like this little lock right here opens up. This is metal and then it has a wood inlay right there. When you open it up, the inside is in a brown leather uh, Loewe right there. Uh, Loewe 1846, that's when the brand was first started. And then 
Inside you have a zipper pocket right there, and then you have a little card pocket, and the interior is just lined in suede leather as well. Um, there is like a little like dark mark right here on the leather of the under flap, and there are like some marks on the hardware. You can see there's like some marks just probably from banging against the hardware piece right there, but it's a super cute bag. Um, this piece of hardware is missing right here. I do have a replacement for it, but it just won't match this, like, exactly. But, um, I, I will attach that. I just didn't get a chance to do it. And there is a small pen mark just right there on the end of the little strap. And there's, like, a little bit of discoloration on the strap as well. Just from, like, regular wear. Um, uh, but yeah. But the bag is gorgeous. The snake skin is beautiful, nice and brown. Oh, thank you, Tara. Isn't it so cool? Like vintage Loewe, and it's like a really cool snake skin leather. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so this is a uh, thirteen vintage snake skin Loewe flap bag with silver hardware. And this one, where are we going to do this one for Vader? Uh, okay, let's do this one. Okay, we're going to do a really good price for this one. Um, we're going to keep it under 200 We're going to do $185. And that's going to be lucky number 13 for our vintage Loewe. $185. She's a beauty. Number 13. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just like obsessed. And then when you wear it long, like this job is like pretty cool. I don't know. They don't make straps like, like that's how it connects like this. And then it sits on your shoulder like that. And now it's just like a longer shoulder strap. Oh, Robin's calling it. Congratulations, Robin. Yay. Congrats! She's beautiful. Okay. And then next up... Woo! Number 14. Ooh, no roaches. Wait, what? Before I went over. Oh no, Hypatia. No. Just, I would stay, stay in the hotel. Alright, 14 is next. And for 14, I have. Yeah, these are. Um, Prada Aviators. Um, they have like a mirrored lens and then it has gold, like metal hardware and then these little corner pieces are in like a cream white color. And then they do say Prada on the sides as well. And then they look like this on. They're pretty cute. Oh, the palmetto bugs. They creep me out too. So these are our Prada Aviators. Gold metal with cream accents. And mirrored lenses. These sunglasses are in pretty good shape. They have like really light marks, if any, on the lenses. <clears throat> and these are gonna be $110 for these Prada sunglasses. These are a really good size. Hi, Purse Curator. 
Once the feeling Chicago at a fire pit. Oh my gosh, Robin. I'm a mosquito magnet. Mosquitoes love to attack me, so. My mom always makes fun of me because we'll be outside together in the garden and I'll have like 10 mosquito bites within five minutes and like the mosquitoes don't touch her at all. So I'm constantly jealous of my mom and her mosquito repellentness. In the Philippines, when I was younger, um, but the first time I went back to the Philippines when I was young, after we moved to America, the mosquitoes were so intense, I would wear jeans to go to sleep, hoping that the bugs, like the mosquitoes wouldn't bite me. They would still bite me through the jeans. It was nuts. I don't know. And those mos but the mosquitoes in the Philippines are like literally like the size of seagulls. They're huge. Oh my gosh, Tara. Be That's crazy to be allergic to bees. A wasp once flew into my room and then it like stung me in the back of the neck. And that was pretty traumatizing. <laughs> uh, luckily I'm not allergic, but it was like so frightening. Okay, so I was number 15. Or six fourteen. Uh, number fifteen is going to be a pair of fry boots. These are a size. These are size 8. Size 8 brown fry boots. They have a little heel. It's about a 2 inch little heel right there. They do have zippers on like both sides of the shoe so that they're like easy to get into. Which I think is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen shoes that have zippers on both sides. So that's nice. Um, they don't have like too much wear on them. Uh, there is a little mark, though, on the right shoe, right there on the inner corner. Um, but the shoes are pretty nice, though. The leather is beautiful. It has an antique brass hardware. And again, they don't have, like, too much wear on the bottoms at all. Yvette, I don't have any long chump tonight. I'm sorry. Hi, Deandra. How are you? Oh my gosh, Tara, that's crazy. My mom and I have the same blood type, but I think it's um, something to do with like when you sweat and it releases like some sort of like scent or something to the mosquitoes. And my mom doesn't sweat. So that's probably it. Yeah, West Coast gal. It's crazy. And I, I'm allergic to mosquito bites. So if I get a bite, it gets like huge and gross. So it's not fun. Oh, Robin, I'm going to keep a lookout for you for a nine and a half, or size nine and a half, okay? Okay, so these are our fry boots, brown leather um two inch heel size eight and these are how much we're for this we're gonna do these for 55 that's gonna be item number 15 and then 16 is next Okay, um, our next bag, this is a 
this is a Chloe parody. So we have the Chloe parody in brown leather with gold hardware. With the top handle right here, we have the longer shoulder strap right here. I love the parody. This is one of my favorite bags from Chloe. I love the parody and the Marcy are like my two favorite bags from Chloe. Oh, Robin. Yeah, I think I'm a, I'm also a um, blood type. Yeah, I also a B. But might be positive, be positive blood. Something like that. Like mermaids. <laughs> oh, are you guys excited for the new Little Mermaid movie? It's so funny, like, TikTok has been going crazy over, um, how the sea creatures and animals, like, Scuttle looks scary, and Flounder looks intense. I don't know how I feel about how they look. It might be, I don't know. Um, but yeah, bag is beautiful. There is, like, some, like, kind of, like, a rubbing discoloration right here, but I think it might just be dry. So I think, like, if I condition it, it's going to look hundred times better but I think it still looks really good I think this style kind of lends itself to having a little bit more of like a distressed kind of look to it the interior just has one interior pocket right there and the inside lining is really nice it's in great shape uh, zips across the top as well and then the crossbody strap also is or the longer strap is removable you can wear it as a crossbody, but it does sit just a little bit higher up. But, yes. Chloe Parody in brown leather. Uh, Chloe Parody in brown leather with antique gold hardware. And this one is going to be how much we drink? Okay, let's do this one for 200 and let's do 225. $225 is going to be item number 16. I'm going to do go do a good deal on this Chloe. I think this bag retails for like retail price is like over a thousand. I think it's like 1350, something like that. It's like a thousand something. December 16. You guys want to know that story? Um, my mom, whenever each of my nephews was born, she bought herself like a commemorative handbag. And Kay's commemorative handbag for when he was born is actually a Chloe parody. But it was like a special edition uh, Chloe. It was the military Chloe in lambskin leather. And it was in navy blue. So... Yeah. Oh, Marjorie, we had a blue moon tonight. I missed it. Is I, I don't know. It sometimes those things are only visible though in certain areas. So I don't know if would, I don't know if it would have been blue over here. It's a blue corn moon, just like in Pocahontas. Okay, number seventeen is up next. That was our Chloe parody. You guys, um, this one is like a, a really cool one. I was going to save it for last, so I'm going to show it to you guys already. Um, this is a pair of Chanel jeans. And they're a size 34, which I think is like a, like a size 27 U.S., that's size 34, like like the European French size or something. But it's uh, denim, and then it has like the chain detail along the waistband and along the sides of the pants, also on the back as well. And then there's a little leather patch right here with the quilted and then CC logos right there. All of the hardware also has the little Chanel logos and all that goodness. 
And then on the bottom, they actually have a little zipper down here. Also Chanel, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's like a faded black, like a gray black denim. <laughs> First curator. Okay. This is the uh, 17. These are Chanel black gray jeans, size 34. And it has like a, it's like a gunmetal hardware. And I don't know, it's really cool. Like, the chain print on here is like, I don't know how they did that, but it's really, really nice. And they taper down. They're beautiful. These, like the resale of these is like over 600 that I found online. Um, how much are we going to do these for the Okay, I'm going to do a really good deal on these. These are going to be 275 Ooh, and I'd forget out. Is that like the movie? Um, West Coast Gal? <clears throat> yeah, these these would fit my sister. She has a... That's her, she, her, she has a tw size 27 waist size. <laughs> So that's item number 17. But yeah, these these do fit these do fit my sister. She's a size 27. She's like a 26, 27 waist. But they're gorgeous. They're really cool. I wish they fit. I wish I had that size waist. Can you imagine? Daydream if I was this skinny. I'd be so fabulous. I'd be so tiny. I would wear. I'd be there. <laughs> okay. So I was 17. I spelled Chanel wrong. That's embarrassing. I'm actually going to fix it. Because we can't have that. There we go. Right? And she's had three children. She's so tiny. I know we all hate her. How is she so skinny? Literally, she like gives birth. And then she's like back to her original weight. So, I don't know. <laughs> Linda, she's like passed out right now. They've been at, uh, what's it called? They've been at water polo games all day long. Kate had three water polo games today. And I think they left. They had to be at the first one at like 8.30 a.m. And it was in, oh, it was far. Like I think it was like an hour and a half away. So they had to leave at like, I think they left at Seven, like 7 a.m. And then they got back. Last game ended, I think, at like 6 or 7. So it was a long day for them. Okay. Next up, number 18. I should have her try on the jeans and show you guys how they look, but... Yeah, she's, like, not awake right now. She is, I think she has been asleep since I got here. Vadrian is sending me pictures of dolls. Oh! Of, um, what's her name? What's her name again? Yeah, but what's her name when Ursula's human? It's like... 
Mary? No. Sarah? No. What's her name? Molly? No. Vanessa! That's her name. It's Vanessa. Hold on. Let me show you guys the picture of the doll that Vader is sending me. This is why I get distracted during the lives, because, like, Vadrian just sends me random stuff when I'm, like... And then they're, like, also talking about other stuff at the same time as I'm talking. So I'm always, like, 50 things at once. But that's the only way to live your life. Oh my gosh, it's so big. <laughs> it was, like, massive. So Vadrian wants you guys to... wants me to let you guys know that they're going to get this doll when it, goes, when it comes out. It's the Vanessa doll from Little Mermaid. Click 30. Oh my gosh, Robin. Yeah, my sister, she like always bounces back so quickly. I don't know. I think she gained the most weight probably with Cade. But then she lost it in like a month. And then when she had like when she had Elizo, she was back to her pre-pregnancy weight, like literally like a week or two after. Like when she gave birth, she still had like a little bit of like whatever that weight is. But that um, I don't know what it, what do you call that? But a week or two later, it was, like did back down. Oh, Linda, both. All of the above. Any dolls. All dolls. Any dolls. I'm always on the hunt for dolls for Vadrian. That's I pay Vadrian in dolls. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at the thrift store and I'm like, hey Vadrian, look what I found. A bunch of dolls. Okay, next up. Um, oh, I have some random jewelry. Um, I have like this bracelet. It's Plated in 24 karat gold, and also made in Italy. It's in yellow leather, and then it has like this uh, little clasp right here. I can't believe I still like I, I this used to like not fit me, and then now it does. But I never wear it, so. But it's really cute. It looks like this, gold, a yellow leather, and then it's, um. Plated in 24 karat gold. It's just like metal. And then it's plated. Um, the leather looks like it might be like an ostrich. Or it's just like ostrich embossed. But it has like the little ostrich little dot thing on it. As a, I don't think Vadrian cares. I think Vadrian also likes the haunted dolls. But I never buy the haunted dolls. If I think it's haunted, I'm not touching it. I'm not looking at it. I'm not buying it. Oh, was it one of those, um, the, Linda's mom had one of, it was, a uh, try, try something. What are those dolls called, Vadrian? Juno? No, Juno. Juno doll? No. It's like, the tribunal. Can you measure the size? I don't know how to, like, um, the, like, the circumference? Measure my wrist. I uh, can I measure it like this. I need like one of those like fabric. Um, I don't know how to measure it, but it fits. It fits my fat wrist. Huh? I can't measure my wrist with the tape measure. <coughs> Theory Vadrian is one of us. Um, I don't know how to measure it. I need a. I think my mom has one of those tape measure things, like the fabric ones. But I'm gonna have to ask her. I'll show you guys this next time when I find out the size. But I just know that it fits my fat wrist. Now it used to not fit me, which was a sad time. Also, I have this bracelet. I don't know the size of this one either, but it looks like a nail. And it's by 
G and B. And it's in like a rose gold. I don't think this is going to fit me because Hadrian's wrist is way too fat for this. Oh my gosh, I just got it to fit me. I got goosebumps because it fit. <laughs> you didn't look at me. <laughs> Oh, Mrs. C, you are so smart, Mrs. C. You are amazing. Okay, let's do that. Um, do I have a strap that can come off easily? Let's do this. Oh my gosh, they're both like attached with like little things. Why is this so hard for me today? Why is everything not working out? Rebecca Minkoff. No, your strap is hard. Okay, let's see this. Oh my goodness. There's a bracelet. <laughs> Okay. It's eight point two five inches. The circumference of this bracelet is eight point two five. <laughs> I just can't talk tomorrow. I have to load up on allergy medication. Like, it's just my voice that's gone. Like, I totally feel, like, regular. It's just my voice. Um, so this is our yellow leather and gold plated bracelet. 8.5 inches circumference. Circumference. And let's just do this one for like, I don't know, 20, $25. That's going to be item number 18. It's a really cute bracelet. It doesn't have a brand or anything. It just says, made in Italy, 24 plated, 24 plated carat gold on the inside. And... Oh, Norma called it. Congrats, Norma. Hi, Norma. I didn't see, the, didn't see her here. Congratulations. Hmm? Okay. Um, I'll also do this one. This is the G and B rose gold, um, what is this called? Nail bracelet? And it fits my wrist. So, also 8.5. And that'll be number 19. G and B rose gold bracelet. And this one, let's also do for 20. Five? Huh? Okay. So that's number, this is number 19. Okay. So that's this one. GMB. If I can get it off of my wrist. I don't think it was going to come off. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I also have, um, these are, I think they're both Ferragamo. Yeah. The, I have two Ferragamo. I think these are lapel pins. And I'll sell them as a, like, a set. Um, 
But this one is silver and gold, and it has like a little pearl on the end. And the other one is actually from the year 2000. So this is a millennium, or yeah, millennium pin. And it's all in gold, it just says 2000. And it has a little ball on the end. And it's just in gold. Set of two Ferragamo uh, lapel pins. And how much are we doing these for, Beatrice? Okay, we're going to do 75 for the pair of the Ferragamo pins. Lapel pins. Shoes. One of them has a shoe print. Oh, oh my gosh. Also, this has a shoe print. Let me show you guys. It's like, um, it's like little shoes are cut out. I don't know if you can see that. But it's pretty cute. So I just showed you guys the back of it. I'm not throwing it. But um, just that one is... The resale is like around 85 or something. For just that one pin. Or 245? Oh, really? 245? Oh, nice. Oh, that is nice of you. Congrats, Linda. Okay, that one, so the bracelet's going to Linda. Congrats, Linda. My voice, I feel like it's just going away more and more. I think we'll just go to 25 tonight. Because my, I don't know if my voice is going to last any longer. Okay. Next up. Weapons. <laughs> Marjorie. Oh, let me put this strap. Attach it back on. Okay. Maybe if like my voice returns in the morning, I'll do like a live sale in the morning before I leave. And I can show you guys the other stuff that I have. But next up is gonna be item number 21. And let's do... Oh, these are another pair of pot. I did show you guys these already. I think I did actually. I do. I do have some <laughs> John. <laughs> oh my gosh, John would never. Actually, let me ask him to walk. The dogs. Okay. Um, these are Prada round sunglasses with brown lenses. And the frames are a, uh, what's it called? A tortoise shell. And then also silver metal. And then it ends in like this peachy pink right there. And yeah, the sunglasses are in really great shape. Round lens. And these are going to be how much? These are how much we're doing for these? Okay, these are $130. And that's number 21. I know these are so cute. I This is like my round sunglasses era because I really love round sunglasses right now. I can't talk. I can't spell. Orada. Orada. All right. So that's number 21, our Prada sunglasses. Do you think my voice will be back tomorrow? Do you think it'll be even more gone? Do you think I'll sound even more like Phoebe from Friends? I'm going to record the Melly Cat. Smelly cat, oh smelly cat, what 
are they feeding you? Um, I feel like I left stuff in the car. So this isn't everything that I had. Maybe, I don't know. It's okay, but I have enough stuff to get to 25. All right, 22. Um, I know, I can't find them. Oh, I know. You guys, look what I got today. A letter T anthropology mug from the Bistro Collection. I'm very excited about it. So now I have the tea. And that's this mug. Maybe I'll have my tea in here. Tonight. Okay, this is a Pour La Victoire um, shoulder bag. And it's in this black leather. And it has a snake embossed leather trim, gold hardware. There is some um, color loss on the hardware, so some of the silver is coming through. It's supposed to be gold, but still really cute. Pour La Victoire handbags are actually really expensive. And I know they're like more known for like their shoes and maybe clothing, but their handbags are also really, really nice. It's just really nicely on your shoulder, just like that. And interior, just has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the other side. Two other, two open pockets underneath. And this one is going to be item number 22. Our black Pour La Victoire shoulder bag with gold hardware. And this one is going to be, let's do this one for $35. It's going to be item number 22. 23, uh, let's do, where did those sheets go? I have like some Tory Burke shoes, but they're missing. Maybe they're in a bin over there. Hold on, let me check real quick. Okay, I lost the Tory Bird shoes. I don't know where they were. But it's okay. <laughs> Let's just do this little guy. Um, this is a Rebecca Minkoff little satchel bag. It's missing the crossbody strap, but the bag is in pretty good condition other than the missing strap. It kind of looks like a Balenciaga. So it's black pebbled leather. We have a little front zipper pocket right here. Um, the crossbody strap attaches to the little D-rings right up top. It zips across the top. Interior just has one open pocket. Sorry, it's a little linty inside of there. But here's the back of the back. There's the bottom, corners. And this is going to be number 23, Black Rebecca Minkoff, small satchel with silver hardware, no long strap. And this one's going to be 35, that's number 23. And then 24 is, I would have so much Rebecca Minkoff. Oh, I still also do have this guy too. This Balenciaga. This is the Balenciaga Bazaar um, medium size satchel. And it's in blue, white, and black stripes with silver hardware.
Because in spec has color transfer on it. Sorry. Black, white, and blue, um, Balenciaga. Bazaar shopping bag with silver hardware. This one is two seventy five. That's number twenty four. Okay, then one last item. Oh no. Ugh. Twenty-five is gonna be I might as well just do the last one, okay? Oh no, let's do this. This is the bin. Oh no, the this is where this case made head color transfer. Okay, this is a little Vince cross body bag. This is in a nude pink color, has silver hardware, has a crossbody strap, and the strap is removable and it is adjustable as well. And this has a magnetic top flap, and then the interior just has one pocket right there, and it's lined in a gray micro gray fabric lining. And the exterior is in pretty good shape. There is a little bit of rubbing on the corners, but nothing too significant um here's the back it does have like a little scratch on the leather i don't know if you can see it it's just right there and that is number 25. this is our nude pink vince cross body pack with silver hardware and this one is gonna be $25, and that's going to be number 25. My voice is gone. Okay, so that's our last item for the evening. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is like completely gone. Even though Vadrian's going to gaslight me and tell me that it sounds the same. What are you talking about? Your voice sounds exactly the same. You're not losing it. Okay, let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway for the Amy Kestenberg pouch. There's that. And if anyone has any questions about anything too, let me know. <clears throat> And put my little comment picker. No, it Can I see number two again? Of course, Sandra. Was number two again? That was the Rebecca Minkoff. There she is. Such a cute bag, so you can carry this one on the shoulder like that, or you can cross body it like that. There's a nice big back pocket right here, perfect for your cell phone. And then there's one middle dividing zipper compartment. 
And then there's one zipper pocket in the back as well. And the inside is nice and clean. There's no discoloration or pen marks or anything inside there. And it's a really good size too. Like in comparison to my phone, that's the size of the bag. Yeah, so that's that. Okay, and now let's pick our winner. My eyeballs are like not seeing anymore. Okay, we're gonna pick our winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. All right, looks like Hepatia is our winner tonight. Woo! Congratulations, Hepatia. She likes her egg sunny setup. I love my egg sunny setup as well. So, yummy. Congratulations, Sapatia. You got our pouch. Oh, and Sandra's getting item number two. Congratulations, Sandra. That was going to our Rebecca Minkoff flat bag. Congratulations, she's a beauty. Yay. Okay. Congratulations, Sandra. We got our beautiful Rebecca. Set that over there. And yeah, I think that's it for the night. Um, if my voice comes back tomorrow, I might do a, a, a live before I go out thrifting in the morning. Um, Otherwise, I'll see you this week. <laughs> I haven't had this, I don't have the schedule up yet for this week, but I'll try to get it up uh, ahead of time so you guys will see that hopefully by Monday I should have next week scheduled. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. I'm going to go drink a tea and I'll see you guys all later. Have a great Sunday. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Thanks for um, bearing with me with my voice that's totally gone all right adios good night and have a great sunday bye guys